Hey everyone, this is Jason with Preston Street Market and today I have a mystery jewelry box from um, goodwillfinds.com. You can kind of see it here. It's goodwillfinds, F-I-N-D-S dot com. Um, the boxes from there are, are better than Shop Goodwill and of course better than Blue Box. Um, so... Let's get right into it. Um, I hope everybody is well. I have been kind of busy lately, so I haven't had a chance to do too many videos, but I'm back. I'm in a new setup. I'm in where I do my um, live selling for Facebook and um, whatnot. So I'm gonna try to do videos in here because the other room is way too hot. <laughs> so, anyway, please subscribe if you have not. Hit the notification bell so that you don't miss anything. Oh, they wrap this nice. Um, I'm gonna try to possibly do a um another jewelry sale the last one went pretty well i did have one person that claimed some stuff and didn't pay and so that kind of annoyed me because i don't have time to chase people down but i'm not gonna let it stop stop me because there were other people that did pay and um dang, they practice good remember this one that's small and honest to god don't even remember what i paid for it <laughs> so anyway looks interesting it's a lot of watches that looks like brighton hmm. okay let's get right into it again if you're enjoying these videos please Give me a subscribe. They did a really nice job packing. I will say that. So, all right. Let's get right into that video. All right. So look at this watch. This is, I can't even see. Techno King Quartz. Hmm. I don't know if that's missing something there. I don't know. So there you go. Techno King Quartz. It's another watch. These are dirty. Liz Claiborne. Is that what it says? No. Joe Boxer. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Ooh, that's pretty. Look at the faceted crystal on that one. That's really nice. Oh, it's fossil. It's got kind of a mother of pearl background. Let's see, yeah, fossil. Hmm. All right, we've got um, acrylic. These are not genuine beads. These are acrylic. Let's see, there's nothing on this hang tag, no. Yeah, so these are just some um, acrylic beads. Ooh, this is gorgeous. This is Damascene. It is missing the safety chain. So beautiful Damascene with like a faux pearl inlay. It is very nice that I love Demacene very much. And so do my customers. That's a good piece. All right. Wasn't that cool? It's like an artisan handmade piece. I don't know what kind of coating that is. I'm not sure if it's sterling or not. It's interesting. Very interesting. I don't see any marks anywhere. 
have to test it and see if maybe that's an artisan piece and they wrapped it in sterling. All right, we have some pearls. Oh, they're genuine. It's a genuine stretchy pearl bracelet. This will be a short video. There's not much in here. Oh, we have tangles. Okay. Well, this is pretty. This is Gruen Precision. What does that say? Let's zoom. So I can't see what that says. Oldsmobile. No, Swiss made. So this is a good watch. If it's Swiss made, that's usually an indicator of a uh, good piece. Um, it's not currently working. Let's see if we wind it. Oh, it works. Well, that's a cool piece. That'll bring a little bit of money. All right. Let's see. All right, we have a gold tone. I'm assuming gold tone. Let's see. 18 karat gold plating. So 18 karat gold plated um, bracelet with some green, like uh, faux jade uh, stones. It's got a nice closure on it. Let me see it, let me have a look at this. Yeah, so that's gold plating, but yeah, that's okay. All right, we've got a single earring. All right. Oh, we have a jelly belly. So they call these animals that have this sort of cabochon in the center jelly belly. Cute little flamingo. Oh, that's, that's so cute. Not seeing a signature anywhere, but that one is a keeper. She's sweet. All right. Oi, oi, oi. Tangle, tangle, tangle. This chain feels nice. Hope everybody's week is going good so far. I'm playing hooky today. I don't feel very good. My um, sister is sick. I saw her on Monday. And so whatever she had, I think she gave to me. Um, so this is silver tone, I guess. A silver tone, nice uh, bracelet. Let me see. I'm not seeing any marks. No marks, no hallmarks. Um, to indicate it feels so nice uh, and silky like possibly a rhodium plating over stainless not sure if it's sterling but I'll definitely test it if it's not marked it's very likely not sterling because it's it's a newer piece but I'll check it out and see let's see this gold chain here the silky gold chain. Let's see. Do we can we find gold in this? Not expecting to. Ah, look at there. Fourteen karat gold. I haven't found gold in a minute. Oops. Oh, so it is broken, unfortunately. But that's all right. This is good for scrap. I can sell that for scrap. Very nice. If I could remember what I paid for this, that might pay for the box. All right, so here's the mate to that earring. I'm not super impressed by it. All right, so we have Hellbro's Quartz. And I think that's in uh, another language. The uh, date. It's a nice watch. I'll have to look it up. Another one of those bracelets. Oh yeah, so this must be a, like a series or a set of some kind. Yep. 
It's the same kind of faux stones. Yep, 18 karat gold plating. All right, it's this pretty guy here. So very textured gold tone uh, brooch with a faux pearl. Not seeing a signature, but that's okay. It's pretty. All right, so here's a pair of clips. They just have patent information, no identification. It's very worn. This will have to likely go into a crafting uh, lot. Ooh, that's pretty. That's silver, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's sterling. I see it marked 925. Let's hope we find the mate to this. Very pretty. Sterling silver, black onyx. Really, really pretty. Let's see if we find the mate. Let's see. These are just glass pearls, but the stretch is pretty bad. So I'll put that aside in the crafting. Mm. Many tangles here, guys. Okay, so let's see. Let's see anything on that side. Let's flip it over. Okay, here we have some marks. Let's see. Nine two five. Probably Italy. Let me have a look. Yep, nine two five Italy. So a nice, um, a nice silky um, silver chain. The Italian silver is is much nicer than I, in my opinion, nicer than a lot of the other uh, silver out there. Ooh, this is pretty. Okay, that's by best. That's not going to be sterling. They don't make sterling as far as I know. But a nice, um, you know, sort of costume bracelet. That's nice. Um, this I'm pretty sure is going to be Brighton. Looks like it's in pretty good shape. See if the clasp is, oh yeah. All right, let's have a look on the inside. Oh, maybe it's not Brighton. Oh, there, there we go. Now that's Brighton. I wonder if you can see the B. Come on, focus. Kind of hard to see because, oh, there we go. There we go. So there's the Brighton, the B for Brighton. So that's a nice find. Right. This is a very chunky um, um, resin style um, necklace. Sort of reminds me of a tribal, tribal-like piece. Let's see. Make sure I'm zoomed all the way out. Okay. So here's a nice rosary. <gasps> Look at that. Nice little rosary. Okay. Oh, we're hooked. Ooh, there's the earring match. Oh, yeah. There's the 925. There's something else there. Maybe it's a uh, maker. Well, now I can't find it. Oh, there we go. Hmm. I don't know what that stands for. I'll have to, to look into it. So, 
we do have a pair here. A nice set of sterling earrings. All right, these look, yep, yeah, these are genuine little rice pearls, almost coin pearls because they're kind of flat on one side, but um, they're genuine. Right, charm bracelet with some hearts. Let's look at the closure. Is there an etched mark there? Let me look and see. There is not. Okay. Yeah, so this just looks like a silver tone um, bracelet or anklet. Okay. Not a fan of this type of stuff. All right. Oh, here's another one of those bracelets. They must have come as like a set with several. And 18 karat gold plate. All right. Well, have another silver tone piece here. knotted up for some reason. Alright. So here's your closure. Doesn't look like it's got any silver markings. No. Okay, so just silver tone and then we've got this pendant here. Oh, sort of like Hindu. Bestower of success. All right, so some sort of Hindu god uh, necklace pendant. All right, here's another. Let's see if we can see what that says. 925 BGE. Oh, yeah, it's signed there too. So this is a nice silky um, uh, sterling silver necklace. Oh, here's more of these. Always checking these clasps. Even though they match the other ones, I just want to make sure. So here we go. Yep, so these must have been sold as some sort of set. Um, not interested. They're pretty, but not, not interested in pursuing them. Ooh, this is nice. This feels nice, actually. This is glass. Maybe onyx, I'll have to put on the Presidium and see. It looks like there's a cartouche, let me see. Monet, all right. Got a shepherd's hook for clasp. Nice black glass. I would doubt that it's onyx, but some sort of glass. Let's see what's in the box. Okay, Rachel Ashwell. Cubic zirconia sterling silver earrings. Looks like they were $18. $10, my bad. Okay. All right. These are definitely genuine. Yeah. So more, um, ooh, the stretch is not that great. Um, more genuine pearls. All right, we have a gold tone, guessing gold tone, um, bracelet. I'm not seeing any marks initially. 
sort of like that infinity symbol. Mm. Let me look at it a little closer. Oh yeah, that's just gold tone. You can see the base metal coming through. McDonald's. Or something from McDonald's. I don't know what that says, let me see. Japanese movement, M, C, and T, quality watches since 1982. So it's probably given to team members. Um, that's cool. Another, oh, that's a pretty one right there. Another watch, this looks like Puma. This is very, very light. I would probably venture to say it's and um, the winding is not great, so that'll be for parts, I'm sure. Get these earrings out of the way. So these sort of turquoise enamel swirly earrings. Okay. Oh, more. Yep, those are genuine. More genuine little uh, rice pearls. Rice seed. Not seed. Those are too big for seed, but... Some sort of rice pearl. So this is a silver tone. I'm not seeing a closure. Yeah, so silver tone necklace with some black beads. Getting to the end. This is a short one. It's like cork board on the background. Pearl. Just says pearl. Interesting. Oh. Here's the mate to that. This will go into recycling. Looks like we have silver, maybe. Let's see. Yep. Sterling silver looks like little crystals or CZs. So a little uh, bracelet. Oh, a Madonna. Pen. She say Avon. Yeah. So a little Avon pen, the Madonna, green enameling in the back. Oh, more of these. Yeah, they 18 karat gold plating. So gold tone with these red beads. Those are nicely made. I just am not a fan. American flag, rhinestone pen. Don't overlook these. Weiss makes a rhinestone American flag pen that can sell for around 40. So don't overlook these. It's a nice clean piece. Um, I'll set that aside for auction. Looks like we have one more thing. Oh, Brighton. Oh, beautiful Brighton. Got that silver tone scroll work pendant. Looks to be in really good shape. Nice chain. And then here's your hang tag. Excuse me, hang tag. Very nice. So I think we did okay. We've got quite a few things here in our keeper pile. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, Again, if you haven't subscribed, please do so um, and leave your feedback, your comments. I answer everything and everyone and I will see you all soon. Bye.